What do you think you are doing in this ocean? It is mine. The only way you can live is if you can tell me the scientific process skills. Do you remember them from science class? I am going for a swim. Hello. What does look like I am doing? All of the scientific process skills are, purpose, predict, materials, procedure, observation, and conclusion. What? How did you know all of those? There are more than that. If you get it wrong next time I will drown you. Mewuech. Oh wait, what is your name? My name is, Iragechklis. Well I am a smarty pants, that's how. I will tell you move after I tell you my name. It is really long and I expect you to learn how to spell it right. Lyrajklis to Urtukfad. Whoa! What happened to your voice? Oh that is one awesome name. Can I have it? First let's talk about purpose. You need to know why you are going to be doing an experiment. Well done. Of course you need to know why. Next is predicting what will happen. We predict when we make a forecast about what will happen in the future. Predictions are based on prior knowledge gained through experiences and data that is collected. Now you ask, how do I make accurate predictions? Do you know? Uh, Arjkolas. Can I come aboard now? No. You must prove yourself first. First make observations and measurements and recall all past experiences. Use your knowledge and tools to search for patterns in the data. What? But I am in the water. How am I to do that? Why don't you make predictions about future events and you your inferences? Then test those predictions to determine validity. Don't you tell me what to do Buster. I will do all of that after testing. Then I will revise my predictions if necessary. Take that. Thank you for all of that information. I can now be a fortune teller because my predictions will be so accurate. The next thing would be defining operationally. Do you know that? What does that mean? I am so confused. Oh wait now I remember. We define operationally when we write a definition of an object or event based on our experiences with it. You are correct. Congratulations. An operational definition describes how to measure a variable. Hooray I am so excited. It states what operation will be performed and what. How do I write an operational definition? Please help me, Learachklkstuertukfad. Maybe I will save you if you can tell me. First, observe an object or event and then test and investigate it. Then think about those observations. Describe what you can do and what you can observe. Oh I get it and lastly, you can write a definition that communicates what the object does. Wow, Learach Stuart Huckford you are making me so smart. Next is measuring. I would love to measure your face right now. We measure when we compare something to a standard or non-standard units. Hold on, we need to do another dramatic pause. I feel so dramatic now. Please measure my face. It has never been measured before. Now, measure the temperature of the water I will measure the volume of this boat. Deal. Only if you tear off your face and hand it to me, so I can measure it accurately. I would be so flattered. Then I will measure the speed of your boat, the area of the ocean. Okay I will give you my face, please give it back when you are done. Is there a knife in the water? I need to measure the force of tearing off my face. Then the density of my mucus. This is how you measure, I will estimate the dimensions of your face. I will compare your face to standard and non-standard faces. Be as accurate as possible. Calculate it. Now it is time to move on to investigating. Do your experiment. Do it several times. No bathroom breaks you here or else you will drown. Let's communicate, we communicate when we give or receive information. Precise language is needed for describing an observation, reporting a face measurement or interpreting data. How do you communicate, Learach Stewart? How dare you not say my whole name? It is just rude. Observe, then describe enough properties of an object or event so someone can identify it. Like your face for example. Oh and describe changed in the properties of an object or event. 
like forcing my face off for you. Describe and order changes in the properties of an object or event. Use pictures. You better use Tamiya's diagrams, graphs, visuals, and charts to communicate with me. Hello you are in a boat and I am not. This deserves a huge dramatic pause. Oh okay. I will use them. Only if you make models to help. We make models when we develop a physical or conceptual representation to explain an idea, object, or event. Ha ha he he. Anything that is not real but is a representation of an actual thing can be called a model. Amory my BFF says to find out about an object or event. Think about what you could do. To represent the object or event. Construct the model and compare your model to the actual thing. We are at the end. You have exhausted me so I will drown now. See you later and good luck with the scientific process. By uh, Irish I love you. You have changed my life.